Where do you find your credit card CVV? Here are my information to give you and to educate you. Where do you find your credit card CVV issue date and also expiring date? The expiring date on your credit card, it's supposed to be on your card whereby it's showing like this. Here is where you find your credit card expiring date. Where do you find your CVV? You have to turn back your credit card. So if you turn back your credit card, you're going to see the digit which is behind the card, which is showing you the CVV. So the CVV for this card is 708. So when you add your CVV, if you want to shop online or you give a CVV to someone, they are able to use their credit card. So don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel to teach you and to educate you where to find your CVV and also expiring date of your credit card and also the date your credit card was issued. Now. We're talking about the credit card itself because these things, you can find them on your statement. Every month, you receive a statement from your credit card issuer or your lender. Let's say, for example, if your credit card was issued by American Express, American Express has a 4 CVV number. So don't confuse the other credits. The other credits have a 3 CVV number. And if you want me to show you the difference between this credit card of American Express and also the other credit cards we have. So you can see from here, the credit card, it's only a three digit. And when you look about the American Express credit card, the CVV will be a four digit. So it means that when you have a credit card of American Express, you have to put your four CVV number, okay? And when they ask you, put the last four digit of your credit card number, okay? Remember, in America, we always ask to put our four digits of our social security card and also put your four, four digit on your credit card or put your four digit of your debit card or your credit card so where do you find them when you look at the card you can see here the last four digit is seven five two two three okay when you put that number it means now you can you are able to buy all to pay someone if you are trying to pay something which you have purchased so when you do that, what does that mean? That means now you start spending your credit card. And always remember, when you receive your credit card, you need to activate. How do you activate? There is always a toll-free number which is behind the card. So your card has a toll-free number which is different for each and every credit card. So it doesn't mean because I have this credit card, my uh, my toll-free number or customer service number is the same with American Express card. So what you need to do is to turn back your credit card and in the bottom, and the bottom, 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 you're going to find a number which is a small digit. Always they start with one and then there is a dash and then 800 and then it goes on for, 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 for. So that's how you learn how to activate your credit card because without you activating your credit card you will not be able to use it or you will not be able to pay remember sometimes your credit card will expire what do you do the lender or the issuer they know that your credit card is gonna expire so they will send you an email and also they will email you a credit card in your mailbox remember in america we always have a mailbox where we can receive our mails where we receive our bills where we receive everything don't forget always you have to update that because if your credit card mails go to other people's mailbox they can open it and see the good thing is it's not everything is on your mail sometimes they will put something is missing which they want you to call so they will know that you are the one who received that mail sometimes they will ask you to do it on your phone because when you do it on your phone it means you are the owner of that credit card and you have access to open and do it on your phone on the app or you can go to the google 
on your computer and also update your credit card so the credit card is different from the debit card today we are talking about the credit card now the debit card debit card will be for another day and always remember if you have a credit card always use your credit card and save your debit card remember the credit card build your credit score the credit card build your uh history the credit card add wealth on you the other things they don't because why they are not able to give you a cash back they are not reported to the lenders they are not also uh, uh, upgrading what you have because sometimes the credit card they will give you a minimum of amount of money depending on how much you earn let's say for example if i was making a thousand dollar and now after two years or after one year i start making five thousand dollars means the lender or the credit card issuer they want to raise my minimum or my money in the credit card they cannot do it automatic without you updating your work how much you earn all your your address or things they usually send you an email whereby you need to go and update those information let's say for example if you want to update your credit card to get more than what it has now for example my credit card is ten thousand so if i want to get twenty thousand i need to update my information maybe i got a new job which pays me five thousand and now previously i was earning only two thousand means they will increase my money and then my spending power will increase don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel because you will be educated about how to improve because credit card can make you to be wealthy and also enhance you to get more and educated so you don't spend your credit card unwisely so if you change your address always call the lender or update the information on the app or on the computer